Hey there, everybody. DMO73 here with Nick. What up? Uh, getting his deck profile for the uh, uh, blue green Scheherazade Arabian Nights build. So, yeah, go ahead and tell us a little bit about it here, bud. Uh, basically, when I looked at NPR and everything when it got printed out, I thought that the whole idea behind the Aladdin theme was really, really cool. But when I saw Shahrazad actually got played, no one was actually like using the new support and everything. So I kind of wanted to see like what a pure MPR Shahrazad build would look like, and that's kind of when I came up with this. Okay, awesome, cool. So obviously, uh, Liberator of Wind, uh, pay three, J activate, start of the game, stack a stone on top of the deck. Really, really good in this deck. Um, I'm considering putting in feasting that way I can just stack it, and then my Gradle Ramps will continuously go through. Um, and then the per usual. J activate, add any card, no cards in hand, draw two. Yeah, yeah. really, really cool effect, especially in combination with some of the other Arabian Night stuff. Definitely. Uh, and then we started off with four Elvish Priests because Wind needs Mana Ramp and Elvish Priest is Mana Ramp. Right, because this is kind of a control deck, right? It's a very con very controlly, very fast deck. Okay. Uh, and then we got four Wind Kitties, familiar with Wind. Um, getting a free draw is always good, nine times out of ten. I really can't think of an option that it isn't. Plus, uh, she pays green, burns a card for 300, which is really good. Um, plus, anything that draws can trigger Sinbad right. for more burn. Absolutely. Yeah, that was pretty mean mm -hmm. in the game. And then, obviously, four Sinbads, kind of one of the main staples of the deck. Uh, skip a draw, do X amount of effects. I feel like a lot of us know what those do. Um, yeah, it's bur the, burn 300, pump 400, or pop an addition, right? So yeah, a lot sir. of really cool different effects. A lot of cool use. things you can do with him in combination. Like you can put a flying carpet on him and then just bump, 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 bump into make him 2,000 and punch in the face. Fun stuff. Seems good. Um, and obviously more mana ramp. Run the four Gretels. Okay. Just for more mana. Um, two feasting. Um, one thing that I realized that with this deck is it kind of needed a bigger body presence plus V-Sing's effect to produce will and then she can neg negate you know, damage when you quit caster. Okay. Plus uh, with the Jin, the, uh, the Genie card that we're going to be adding up really mm -hmm. soon, since she can produce a will of any attribute, Genie can bounce monsters and then reset them so you can, it's basically like getting more mana for free. Oh yeah, awesome. Um, two Alibaba, the Earnest Warrior, um, tap uh, to draw one card. Really, I only want him in here kind of because it's a pure NPR themed build for the deck. Um, otherwise, I'd, he's a 7-7, seven, seven, 3 drop. Right. Good, it's good. worker, not warrior. I made the same mistake. I say warrior. It, it is, it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, my favorite of the deck, Jin. Uh, enter, ban it, remove up to 3, so you don't have to do 3. So you can, you know, pay f 3 Elvish Priest and 1 green, put him down, spin the Elvish Priest, end of the turn, they come Oh, right, that's nice. So essentially kind of getting your uh, Jin for, like, free. So you, tr you try to use the monster mana for Exactly. Jin. Oh, okay, that's really yeah. cool. I like that. So that wraps off the monster lineup. Coming okay. into the spells, since it's control, we're going to run 3 Zeke's the Ancient Magic. Yep. Just basically for the summon negations. Um, 3,001. Story sold in 1,001. Yep. yep. I tried it at four, I tried it at two, two didn't see it enough, three was too cloggy, especially or since four I Four was too cloggy? Yeah, especially since I can search it whenever I want to. Right, absolutely. You can just grab it with your out when you need it. Um, just so everyone knows, and if you're unaware, be careful with this card with the new Astro Ruler. Roll yeah. in play. Because, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I talked about that in Ruler School, because mm -hmm. once Scheherazade dies, that card becomes just garbage. Not, not very good. <laughs> uh, two Absolute Cake Zone. Uh, I, if I were to side with this deck, I'd side in two just kind of to... to have more because some decks obviously like drag doesn't run as many spells opposed to monsters etc right um and we have the three flying carpet try this at two but just getting flying gins is the best ever just being able to fly and punch in for 1000 especially yeah, absolutely. in this match if i had dracula on the field i mean blocking him not that it would matter but damage i don't want that right all right um Two artists in bad. One thing that I realized is once I run out of field presence, it's somewhat hard to get back after a while. So being able to negate damage and keep Sinbads and whatnot on the board actually helps a lot. And okay. it's a one drop. Cool. So it can help in tight situations. Um, two Witch's Dagger. Thinking of three, kind of the MVP for this deck. I mean, just a one drop water. You always stack the deep woods in this situation, draw three cards. Really good with Sinbad. And if I need a hand replenish, just okay. get the original draw three. Um, two budget exceeds because in my box of commons I couldn't find them anywhere. <laughs> Those are pretty budget. But three drop if you have uh, Fee Sing, drop yeah, one. Yeah, right. 
And then last card in the deck, Aladdin's Lamp. Uh, oh, yeah. I think the artwork on this card, first of all, is just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this card is really cool. I like it a lot. Um, basically, in the beginning of your main phase, you reveal your hand, which is kind of a bummer, but then you get to search a Spirit Resonator from your deck and put it in your hand. So obviously it's a gin for free. Instead of having to actually search him out, you get him for free. Um, right. So, so one question I have is, yes. you chose only one genie's lamp, uh, and you only have two genies. genies. Mm -hmm. uh, would you consider bumping up to more of each? Because, I mean, that becomes a card that's dead after two turns, potentially, maybe less. Mm -hmm. Would you consider bumping up? I would consider bumping up. It's just the fact that when I started it, I kind of wanted to focus more on the mana ramp and draw ramp as fast as possible so I can okay. draw into those cards. Okay. Playing it more often, I think saying one or two more Aladdin's Lamps would actually been nice. Yeah. Okay, and, sounds and, good. Yeah, definitely. Sweet. And then your stone lineup is four deep woods. Yeah, four deep woods, and then six, six common wind. Yeah, so it's a two color. You're I not don't want to worry about split heavens and earth, which is the exact reason for this stone lineup. Because when I played a Catter Day and I just got you know split heaven and earth, I don't know how many times, like taking out the black aspect of the deck and just sticking to pure blue green. That way, mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about split heaven and earth unless I have two hundred life left, and then like, you know that yeah. card is just. Well, it is what it is. I mean, the, the <laughs> thunder can hit you too. Thunder so it really can hit doesn't matter at that range. Good match. Good so, match. okay, cool. Well, yeah, that's really awesome. So this is so the whole monster lineup is other than Gretel's and Elfish Priest is pure MPR, right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. I really like that idea. I hope that you guys do too. Um, so Nick, thanks for showing the profile. Thanks for playing me in a match this week. Uh, okay. Go ahead, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me down below what you thought of Nick's deck. What you would change. Um, and uh, as always, guys, this is DMO73 signing off.